And I witnessed um, a young man being stuffed into a, ve a vehicle that was right here in the middle of this street. This is the party house where a shooting occurred at 4 a.m. this morning. They were running this way, that way, cars were speeding down. Wandra Hill visits Columbus from Atlanta to see her retired mother every week. Her mother lives right next to the party house. She says she's seen the problems the party house has caused. Traffic backed up on the streets and there's alcohol there, often smell uh, weed. Um, also, um, shooting, a barrage of fire. It's, this is a dangerous, dangerous situation. I mean, we have retirement home, community home right across the street. You're supposed to be at peace and some justice does need to be served. Greater Columbus Personal Care Home looks after elders and disabled people with low income. Regina, will you help push her down? Yeah. Patty Maddox, the owner of the care home, says the party house has been causing trouble for about five to six months. Now she's worried about the safety of the elders. Over the weekend, they take the whole block. They take the area in my parking lot. It's a lot of shooting going on, a lot of cussing, balls all over my lawn. And the people over here are disabled, quiet, laid back, not able to help themselves. As shooting goes on, they can't get out of the way of it. A bullet does not have an address on it or a name on it. It, so these people, we are in danger. The victim is still in the medical center and he is in satisfactory condition. Columbus Police Department told Newsleader 9 they will monitor the area more often to prevent the party house from causing any more trouble. Sarah Lim, WTVM, Newsleader 9.